And I thought, what is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? Does that mean swearing at the Holy Spirit, you know? Uh, we were on our, on, on our boat in Guatemala, and this is quite a few years ago, and a big hurricane was going to come up the Caribbean and just nail the area that we were in the real Dulce area of Guatemala. And, uh, you know, we had a 70-foot motor yacht at the time, 80-ton uh, vessel. We're in a dock that is flimsy, and I knew that if we had big winds, it, these docks weren't going to hold us. Wow. So I had storm anchors out. I had dock lines running all over. I spent eight hours in prayer praying that the Lord would divert the hurricane. He actually did. It hit, ended up hitting Nicaragua. A couple thousand people ended up dying. It was wow. a, a disaster. But in that eight-hour period of praying, something, you know, Ben, that was always in my mind and my, my heart is the unpardonable sins. Mm. One of them is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I thought, what is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? Does that mean swearing at the Holy Spirit, yeah, you know? Yeah. What is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? And so I was just praying, interceding for this about this hurricane for eight hours in the boat. And, uh, and I kept asking the Lord, what is blaspheming of the Holy Spirit? And I heard the audible voice of God speak to me. And he said, be careful what you say mm. about other people mm. that know me. Mm. And I thought, whoa, 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 whoa. So you feel the blas Lord, that blasphemy of the Holy Spirit when we speak poorly about somebody else, not for restoration and yeah, reconciliation, yeah. but to cut them down. It's one thing if there's a problem in someone's life and we're talking to each yeah, other yeah, about yeah. it to help them, that's one thing. But when we're actually doing it to cut them down and they have forgiveness and are on the path of restoration and have the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit in yeah, them yeah. and we slam them, the Lord spoke to me and said, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And I went, oh. so in saying that, that was before I got involved with ministries uh, and restoring of, of, of certain pastors and ministries are falling. I'm in the process of another one right now yeah. where a pastor has completely fallen yeah. and uh, in processing, working with leadership. We need to remember as church, as believers, that we're actually not the enemy with each other. Come on. Our doctrinal diversities, I'm not talking about the fundamentals of Scripture. We have yeah, fundamentals yeah. and secondaries of Scripture. Fundamentals of Scripture are the fundamentals. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of the Amen. earth. He yeah. died. He rose again to set us free. Abs, that is a fundamental. You can't change that. The, the structure of the Scriptures, um, that, that is the fundamentals of Scripture. Amen. But whether or not you dance or you do don't dance in a service sure, or sure. you have choruses or heaven forbid when I grew up and a drum uh, came in you yeah, know yeah. Uh, that was the devil's instrument uh -huh, and uh -huh. you know yeah. uh, so that doesn't that those are diversities they actually can be celebrated Come on. and and give us more strength with the diversity Amen, yeah. because a, everybody knows that a diverse business has a greater level of strength as long as they have core purpose together good, yeah. so you don't go into Walmart just to buy a tire yeah. for a car. Yeah. They have a diversity of product because that's what sells more product, mm -hmm. you know? That's so good. same within the church. We should celebrate our diversities instead of separating over them. And heaven forbid, please, let's not as family and brothers and sisters in Christ, even the different denominational structures, yeah, yeah. let's not slam somebody else's denominational Come structure because there's diversity and we can celebrate that. So part of that process, I also believe, you know, growing up very traditional, uh, the four years of very uh, denominational sure, ver sure. theology uh, that I received, um, mm -hmm. which I disagree with some of that theology now, uh, but it doesn't separate me from yeah. those people. I yeah. love them. We're going to celebrate in heaven. I might teach them how to dance a little bit more in heaven. Come I don't on. know, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. But, but we need to take the Word of God and the Spirit of God, bring those two together. I love the analogy of an eagle. When an eagle flies and soars, one wing being the Word of God, mm. the other wing being the Spirit of God. When that eagle flies Scared. and both Word and Spirit are yeah, working yeah. together, that eagle can soar to heights that are unimaginable. Come on, come on. But when you just have Word alone, and some people are going to maybe get on, Brent, what are you talking about? You know, you, you, you saying the Bible's less than the Spirit or the Bible's more Spirit. No, if you have just Word, yeah. you fly in a circle. Yeah. You have just mm. Spirit, you fly in the okay. circle. But if we have the Word and Spirit together, spirit, yeah. 
We fly high as eagles. We Come soar on. like eagles. We have the, uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit moving and blowing across the Word of God, which is actually how we got our ministry name, Wind Word. Come on. Yeah. Wind of the Spirit blown across the Word of God. So, you know, I really, truly believe that we shouldn't be nitpicking each other's issues and problems. Uh, again, if you say that Jesus Christ is not the Lord uh, of all, uh, yeah, that's blasphemy. Yeah. Okay, that's absolutely wrong. When we take the fundamentals of Scripture, it's legit, it's there. Do you hear yeah, what I'm yeah. saying, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. But we need to celebrate the diversities, just like you have a different brand of car than I do. Yours isn't better, mine's not better. It's what you want, it's what I want. Sure, we celebrate sure. the diversities on the road Come instead on. of all the same cars driving down yeah, the road. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. But standing on the Word of God with the Holy Spirit moving us. Come, Come on. on. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Yeah. Thank you.